In this video, we're looking at income tax. So before we begin, an allowable deduction is a purchase that's work-related or donations, and these are not taxed. This does come into play when calculating income tax. So examples of this are tools, uniforms, subscriptions to professional organizations, uh, educational tools, uh, books, etc. So an income tax is what you're taxed on your earnings. And this is calculated on your, your taxable income. All right, so this is your, how much you've earned in the year minus all your allowable deductions. So taxable income equals your gross income minus allowable deductions. So in Australia, we have the following pay brackets. Um, these might be outdated, I'm not sure, but for the purposes of what we're doing, they're fine. So you pick which bracket you belong in by how much you earn for your taxable income, and then you can do calculations to find out how much you owe the government if you're not doing pay-as-you-go tax, which we'll cover later. So Gabe is an engineer who has a gross income of 118742 this year, and he has work-related expenses totaling $4,022.80. We need to calculate his taxable income first, and then his payable tax income tax. So remember, your taxable income is your gross minus deductions. So in Gabe's case, it's going to be 118,742, take away $4,022.80. So it comes out as 114,719 because we round down. Now that is what we're going to use when we're calculating his payable income tax, which comes up now. So before we begin, we need to identify what bracket does he fit into. So he actually fits into this bracket here. So we need to be worrying about this section here. This is what we're looking at. We don't need to worry about anything else. So his income tax or tax is going to be that 17547 plus that zero, uh, $0.37 for every $1 over 80,000. So we can go times how much he earned. So 114719, take away that 80,000, because this will tell us how much over the 80,000 he's earned. So at this point, you can put it straight into your calculator. And Gabe owes 30,000. $393.03. So again, let's say I was looking at the second bracket in here, you would have it as 3,575 plus our 0.325 times the every $1 over 37,000. So that's how much you've earned minus the 37,000, all right? So that's how you use this table. Now we're going to look at pay G tax and net pay. So in Australia, we do a lot of pay G tax or pay as you go tax. And it's good because it doesn't mean that you're going to owe a big lump sum at the end of the year. And sometimes you may, you may even be lucky enough to get what we call a tax refund where that government actually owes, has to pay you back. And it's like a little savings account if you're lucky. So net pay is the gross pay minus your tax minus other deductions. So Mr. Smith earns $2,280 each fortnight. He pays $22.80 in union fees and $94.10 in superannuation. We need to calculate how much tax he first pays and then calculate his net pay. So for this part, it's easy. We just look for what bracket he fits into. Fits into this bracket here. So we know his tax is the 452. And then what we do now is we find his net pay and like we said, that's your gross pay minus tax minus other deductions. So it'll be his 2,280 minus his tax, so the 452 minus his deductions, which was the $22.80 for union fees and his $94 for superannuation, which is your retirement fund. So he will get $1,711.10. Now, hypothetically, 
let's say he owed he pays all this tax at the end of the year he comes back and turns out he's paid more than he needs mr smith will get some money back from the government to just make sure like he hasn't paid more so pay as you go tax there's no uh, downside to paying all right so you can just keep paying it and at the end of the year if you're lucky you can get some of that money back so to recap what we just covered in this video so we looked at income tax which is you need your taxable income first and that is your gross pay minus all your deductions you then can use that income tax um, your taxable income to find your income tax all right so again you pick what bracket you fit into you add if you need to so example if you're in the the last bracket there you 54,557 plus whatever else you need to over the limit they say in the table now your pay g tax is pay as you go tax and you calculate your net pay because it's your gross pay minus your tax minus any other deductions